Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. How are you? Welcome to my studio, welcome to my channel, and if you are new here, uh, please don't be shy and subscribe below, so that way you will be alerted uh, every time I post a new video. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you. Woohoo, Dollar Tree, yes, I finally got out of the house. <laughs> I finally went out into civilization and did some shopping. Oh, I did that's an exaggeration, but I had not been to uh, any dollar store or any uh, other store besides like grocery stores and pharmacies um, in quite a while. So um, I've been busy at home uh, organizing and reorganizing my studio, working on some uh, future projects. Uh, well, I'm working on those projects, but they they won't go public or live for a while. So there's just been uh, a lot of things I needed to get done. So I really did not have the time to uh, go shopping. So, but I did finally decide today, that's it, I'm going. And boy, did I shop. I went to uh, Dollar Tree and I went to Dollarama and I took my time and I bought a whole whack of stuff, but I'm not gonna put all of it in one one video because it will be way too long. And the other thing is I've been uh, doing a lot of shopping online. Um, I've been uh, spending <laughs> all my earnings uh, uh, lately, I it it's been a good month, so I've been buying myself. I've been indulging myself in some very nice uh, fine art supplies, and I've been looking for sales and deals. And um, there's lots of things that are trickling in, so I've got lots of happy mail. I've also got uh, other stuff I'm expecting to to receive from uh, some companies. Uh, but so there's a lot of happy mail coming in. I just trying to do maybe one video or I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think if you want to see uh, all this good stuff that's coming in. And yeah, so that's that. So let's get to that Dollar Tree haul. Um, so one of the things I went to Dollar Tree to get was I wanted some trays like and I ended up getting this one. This is, uh, you know, those plastic silver looking trays that you could use as a serving platter. You know, you could put whatever food on here that you want, serve it. And then, you know, you can always toss it out after the uh, event or party or whatever. I, however, uh, got this and I also got this one in this nice clear one rectangular you know plastic glass thing one here um because i needed some saucers for this big planter that i received on mother's day it's a lovely planter it's in a um a steel uh bucket basket type of thing and it's really it's it's quite large and the thing is the florist who made it did not put a liner inside and just put the dirt and the plants inside of it so if when I want to water my planter um, it leaks and I don't want it to leak on my wooden furniture and you know destroy my furniture so I've been carrying it to the sink and watering it, and, uh, you know, the whole thing. But so I've been trying to find something to put under this planter uh, that would look decent. So since it is a a uh, a metal bucket thing, I thought when I saw this, I thought, oh, this is appropriate. This might do, but I didn't know if it would it would fit. And I had started with the idea of a clear one because I thought well it's clear goes with everything and I wasn't sure this would be the right size either but the good news is I tr I tried them both when I got home this one works actually uh, the pot actually sits right from here like to here not quite inside here but it does fit on here and it fits very well in here so now I will be uh, auditioning <laughs> Both under my planter to see which one I like best 
but I, I think I will ultimately go with this one because it's oval and my planter is oval shape as well. So that was a big, big happy find for me. I wanted to get a little rug to put at outside my patio doors here so I did and I, I just I wanted something really cheap that you know would just be for the summer so I got this for $1.25 at Dollar Tree and uh, yes I'm in Canada I am Canadian I shop in the Dollar Tree in Canada so the items there are $1.25 Canadian versus uh, the items would be a dollar if I were in the US I started bringing my reusable shopping bags into my dollar store uh, shopping now because they uh, they charge for their plastic bags and I understand and that's fine with me and it's good for me to use my I have a lot of these bags so I can use them I purposely wanted to buy a pad of this finger paint paper I got this pad of 20 sheets that measure 16 inches by 12 inches or uh, 40 by 30 centimeters or so um, they do sell a larger pad of this finger paint paper intended for children and there's 15 sheets in that one so I already have that one and I just wanted to get this one which is it's a smaller and it has 20 sheets uh, because I one of the things I received that I purchased online uh, was a specialty art paper called a UPO paper and it's kind of like a plasticky type of paper. And when I received it, like I got the good stuff, I got the really expensive good stuff, I, I was playing with it and I said, it feels so much like that poster paint paper I got for kids from the Dollar Tree that I'm using as, uh, instead of putting newsprint on my desk, I put that and, and it, I use it as drop sheets. And, uh, and, I, and I went to compare it and although the texture is very similar, the thickness is not at all the same. The UPO paper is thicker and it's, it's really, you know, no wonder it's expensive. But uh, this paper has kind of like the same feel to it. It's very, very glossy, kind of feels plasticky. So I think this would be good practice paper for when I want to make a project on my good quality artist UPO paper. Uh, I should, I can practice stuff on this type of paper before I do anything worthwhile, the finished product on the expensive paper so I could conserve my good paper. Another thing I picked up for art making is poster board. The Dollar Tree has uh, a lot of you are, I know are, are buying this and you use it in your die cutting machine. I have used this too. Um, they come in all sorts of colors. I wanted more white. I just wanted to, I bought three packages of the five sheets. They are 11 by 14 inches of the poster board. I prefer to buy this size than to buy the big poster board and cut it myself. This is done for me and uh, this is really good for art making as well. It's much cheaper than uh, buying some uh, canvas or other types of papers we use in art making. It is, this is great for playing with. Um, maybe not so much as a practice piece but as as a smaller piece that's intended you know that could be scanned that could be sold uh, not expensively um yeah so that's why i got this uh, i i learned that a lot of artists do use this for a lot of their sketching and ink work and even painting and it's it's a cheap alternative to the more expensive stuff which brings me to another question that I have for you. Um, I've been, I, I shop at dollar stores a lot, as you know, because I love it. It's fun. I love to see what I can get and what I can get crafty with and stuff. And, uh, but I am also, I, I, uh, I also buy very expensive high-end art supplies. Um, 
and I know that I'm fortunate to be able to do that and but not everybody can and I just want to know if you guys want me to show you how you two could make art and you know you could do crafts because I've been toting that a lot uh, over the years on this channel but you can still make art with supplies that you get from the dollar store so if you'd ever like me to do some sort of uh, how to how to make um, art mixed media crafts whatever uh, using only dollar store supplies or what is a good dupe for a very what is normally a very expensive product art supply product uh let me know and, and maybe i could uh, work on a series maybe or something so just let me know uh, i was happy to see that this dollar tree that i went to had a lot of these pizza crusts so i bought eight of them for my family we are a family of four so that will give us at least two meals i picked up this this i uh, was new to me uh, it is the Noor Sidekicks uh, White Cheddar Queso. So it's a, a rice mix, and I thought my son would like this. He does like rice now, and uh, he, uh, both my sons actually love Mexican food, so, and anything with cheese. Um, so I thought maybe, you know, one of them might want to eat this for lunch one day, or they might want this as a side dish. So I won't be able to eating it because of the sodium, of course, but um, I thought they would like it. I picked up another package of the Petit Bear, uh Tea Biscuits. <laughs> My son and I love these. We just like, we'll, we'll go through a whole section of them in one afternoon. He'll take half and I'll take the other half with a pot of tea. It's, we just look so funny. The cheapest little cookies make us happy. Uh, and then I got this package like for my husband. I got this for me and my son and this for my husband. <laughs> These are the same as the little cookies that he gets when he goes to Starbucks every afternoon and gets coffee. So I thought I'd pick up a little package for him of these. That's how they're sold at Dollar Tree. So you get these for $1.25. You can buy a case of them at Costco. It's probably cheaper. Um, oh, a lemon pound cake. We liked this so much the last time I bought it. I said, if they have more, I'm getting more. So I did get another one. Hopefully my family will appreciate that tonight. Um, I got some of these little bowls, these little uh, acrylic, like disposable little party bowls. They're great for snacks, nuts. Uh, I have, my husband has a terrible habit of eating, uh, taking snacks from the kitchen, just holding it in his hand and everything just falls down and his hand gets, so it drives me nuts. So hopefully, uh, You'll get the hint. Get, use these instead. And my boys, too. I think these are great for snacks. You know, some nuts and stuff. Instead of carrying stuff in your hand, you know, just use the bowl. Um, oh, I hauled these, I think, last year, actually. And I hadn't seen them again for a while, but they're back. The um, Quick Rise Yeast. So I got, and there's three in here, so I, I think that's a good deal. So I got a, two of these, yeah, two strips of these, again, for baking our own dough in the bread machine. We had great success with it last year, so it should work again this year. This is something that I love, and my, my guys like it too, the Planters uh, Nut Bar. It's just so yummy, yummy, yummy. And it's got caramel and nougat and peanuts. It's just so yummy. It's a really nice treat. Now the other thing, I was so excited to find these. I wasn't looking for this. I didn't know they had them. But I found these glasses. They're 
they're like margarita glasses or fancy, you know, fancy drink glasses. With but what I love is this cactus stem on them. I think it's a, it's hilarious, and I just thought, oh, I have to get these. So I thought I could uh, serve these uh, on when we have Mexican food and maybe make some virgin margaritas or something and we could all or even put our water in here or maybe even put salsa um and you know i always thought that this might be cute you put a little sand and you put a little candle I just, they're really funny so i got four of those and those are my glasses I picked up one of these little lip balms. I only got one. I got the one in pink, so I would limit myself. I wouldn't buy every single one they had. It's a Mariposa. I've seen other people haul these, and so I just thought I'd get one because I like pink. And it'll go with the stuff I have in my pink purse. In bag number two, I got napkins. Yeah, napkins I got those I uh, oh uh, I hope that um, Sandy thrifty grandma uh, I hope that you found these I know you were looking you were hoping to find these uh, to put in your your RV I believe for uh, your summer vacation and I thought of you today and I, I hope you did let me know if you didn't find them but my Dollar Tree the Dollar Tree I was at today uh, had more and this was new uh this one is fragrance free which is great because i know people there's a lot of people who can't have fragrance in their their laundry detergent and this one is the fresh linen and i've told i've tried it before and it, it did fine job of working so i just got a few more of those i just think they're practical to have especially especially for traveling i also think they're great for people who live uh in a in a who are in a situation an apartment or home where they have to go out to do their laundry or you know if you're in a walk-up apartment and you have to go do your laundry in the um laundry room that's you know in the basement of the building you're in and you have to use those stairs i mean this is much lighter to tote around than a thing of detergent um so i just you know and it doesn't take a lot of room in your in your apartment either it's very I think it's very good for that and it's great for campers great for RVs so I saw this uh, in the crafts it was a stencils for stencils for making drawing unicorns and there are 58 different stencils in here and it says there's eight stencil sheets and 58 designs oh, okay 58 designs so there's little there's a, so there's not 58 unicorns but there's there's lots of unicorns anyway so i got that one and this one which is a fashion designer stencils and yes these i use these uh when i feel like doodling and drawing uh in front of the tv i like to play with these like to practice drawing uh, with these so we're fine oh I saw these finally the the kitty cat pen they only had them in orange unfortunately but I, I thought of Garfield when I saw that and uh, so I got the orange kitty but they did have a pink doggy so I got the pink doggy pen and I hope to find the pink kitty pen it would be really cute to put them on on my desk here I have a little shelf behind my computer thought it would be really cute to put there so I saw Tina uh, she hauled some stencils or what she actually hauled a stencil I should say she said there were others and um, I think I got each one that they one of each that they had I think they only had four but there were four different ones at the store I was at and this one is live for today dream for tomorrow and I think that's the one Tina got and I love this I love this quote and I did get a home sweet home. This is very nice to use in making some sort of home decor project or uh, stenciling uh, onto a rug, like a sisal rug with some good paint. 
you could stamp this for a cube. Live, laugh, love. This is my, one of my favorite sayings. I, I have a lot of things in my home that use this quote. And um, yeah, so I like it. And this one says family. So I just thought they were really pretty stencils, really good to have for DIYs. So I got them all. I did not need them all, but I like them. So I got them all. I got these bulbs for flowers. I have not done very much gardening like yet. And the reason is because although I, it's very safe here in this neighborhood, I am very fortunate to live in Canada. I feel quite safe, especially in this neighborhood. Um, but lately it's been very dangerous trying to go outside because we are, uh, my town has been invaded by gangs of mosquitoes. It's just, they're terrible. And everybody that comes to visit, anybody that comes to visit, anybody that comes to make a delivery currently says, if it's their first time here, they're like, oh my God, you have so many mosquitoes, never seen it. It's terrible. You open the window and the screen is like almost covered in mosquitoes. Ugh. You walk outside, and you, you gotta run to your car. Like we don't spend much, like even the neighbors, we hardly spend time outdoors right now because of the damn mosquitoes. We're, we're right by the woods and it's, it's not the same if we go just a couple blocks over into town, um, there aren't any, there's barely any mosquitoes there. Right here, they're all here. So it's been horrible, horrible with the mosquitoes. So my, I'm, I, I'm barely going into the garden now because it's, it's crazy. I have to, uh, we have to wear bug spray. Uh, we have to wear nettings over ourselves, long sleeves, long pants. <laughs> it's really, it's horrendous. So uh, I did get these. So when it'll be safe to go outside, <laughs> I'll go plant these in my garden and hopefully they will bloom sometime this summer and I will see them from my studio. Uh, to go with the pizza crust that I showed you before, I got this jar of Catelli pizza sauce. Uh, again, because uh, my family can make themselves a quick uh, little pizza without, you know, needing my intervention. And yeah, so. We got the jar of sauce and it's a jar so you can seal it back up and put it in the fridge. I picked up this book. Um, it's Warriors and it's fire and ice. And of course I picked it up because there were cats. There's kitty cats on the cover. And it's actually a story about cats. It's like a fantasy story when there's cats. The cats are warriors or magical or whatever. And I thought, oh, this is so fun. So I think there's like a series of these, these kitty, these cats. Um, fire and ice oh and it says at the back this was this made me laugh um, it says uh, oh certain to please any reader who has ever wondered what dreams of grandeur may haunt the family cat ah everywhere you know, like that anymore this one something I wonder what that cat thinking yeah <laughs> thinking of conquering the world so this is you know of course it's ah it's fiction it's fantasy but uh, it might be a good read so I'll try I'll try that now I got two of these bamboo placemats I got this one with the larger lats here and I got this one with the more skinny uh, so they're they're sold as placemats and I thought maybe I can make a uh, pencil or brush roll holder out of this because I just received one in the mail and it's very that's the it's made of bamboo it is it has a nice trim around it and nice you know binding and stuff but I thought oh maybe this could be a fun DIY to do I could try to do a DIY to make your own brush holder or paintbrush holder or crayon holder or something and you know do that so maybe let me know if you'd like to see do that 
Maybe I will. Oh, I was happy to to see these. They were right by the cash register. The mermaid um, nail clippers. Not that I need more nail clippers, but these are rose gold. And I love rose gold. I was just hoping to find them. And I am a Pisces, so it's kind of fitting. And uh, I thought these will look really cute and will match with my purse and my watch that I got for our anniversary. Because not only did we have a second honeymoon, but my husband uh, got me a very nice watch. And a, it's a rose gold watch, of course, because uh, I love that color. And a beautiful handbag. So, um, yeah, I'm quite happy about that. Uh, I picked up this pack. This was new. This is new. Jot Ballpoint Pens. They're 1.0 millimeter points there's 12 in here and it says that the cap twists off so I just want to try these there's 12 of these colorful about ballpoint pants all different colors so I thought these would be fun to try I have a, a drawing thing that I'm gonna test these on to see if it works I saw I think it was it was Cher right share i think you hauled these um recently the citronella candles with the little in the little mason jars they do smell yeah they smell citronella -ly like but they are at least they're cute and they have this little cap so it might be i could maybe leave this one outside and if it rains at least the um this will protect it so I'm going to be trying this little citronella candle. Right now, I would need to wear this as a necklace with a big rope. It'll catch on fire. <laughs> um, oh, I got a card for Father's Day for my, for my hubby, for my boys to give to him. Because I just thought it was really, really funny. So, it's, <laughs> it's a remote control. I love it. And it says, it's Father's Day. May the remote be with you. That's perfect. Anybody else have a, a husband with a father and a hogger of a remote control? So I was thinking the boys would like to give that to their father. Now, uh, speaking of upcoming Father's Day, I am working on a project. Actually, I'm supposed to be working on it right now because it's due tomorrow. Um, yeah, and well, I need this for my project. The golf tees and the practice golf balls. So, got those. I picked up a can of hairspray, again, um, as a, the alternative to expensive art supply. That's where I got this, not for my hair. However, for my son's hair, I did get the shampoo. I've heard good things about these sham the shampoo, Pure and Natural. And uh, I thought maybe this would be a nice change for my son right now. His hair is kind of like, I don't know, it's the same. I'm big, I, maybe it's because he's been using the same shampoo for a while and he just needs to change shampoos. But his hair is really dry lately, so I just thought maybe we'll give this a try. Um, maybe like he cares, but anyway, I care. Uh, so I got him that. And at the cash also, I picked up this cute little seashell. It, it's clam uh, and it's a lip gloss it's all sparkly on one side too it's got glitter and they had they, they had a pretty white one it was very pretty and some other colors but of course I took pink because it's what I like oh speaking of pink they had these little stationary sets they only had them in blue at my store but I saw Sandra from Sandra's Halls uh, she hauled some and she had pink ones too so I would have liked a pink one because this would match with all my other pink stuff in my purse but uh, I got the blue one for now and maybe I can uh, gift it to someone so let me do that another pink thing that I picked up from for me is this pink notepad because it's the sticky kind and I, I I wanted this because again this morning I went to the store without my list I left it on my desk 
So, but I know that when I write a list on a sticky note, I will stick it to the back of my phone. So I leave the house with my phone and my slot, my shopping list. So I got this because this is a perfect size for that. And it's sticky and it has lines. So that's my reason or my excuse. Uh, this I think is new. It is body spray, intimate secret. I was sniffing a whole bunch of body sprays and things when I was in Dollar Tree and uh, this one is melon and plum and th besides the coconut shimmer one that I love that I still have because I hauled several bottles last year um, this is the only other scent I really liked so I got this and speaking of scents I I picked up a bottle of this hand soap because I really like this one in my bathroom. The Merlot, the Black Cherry Merlot. And last but not least, this is new at my dollar at the Dollar Tree I was at. It is a citrus scent um, odor eliminator. Eliminates pet odors. I bought a bottle. We'll see, it says apparently, you know, you can just like wherever, if the, you know, your pet has done something or, and I just thought, you know what? Yeah, kitty uses the litter box. So I'm gonna, t and it's in the laundry room, so I'm gonna test this, see if my laundry room can smell oh, more citrusy instead of catty uh, after kitty has visited the laundry room. And that is that for my Dollar Tree haul, and that's all my ramblings. So like I said, let me know what kind of videos you would like to see from me uh, so I know what to do. And uh, I wanna give you a heads up uh, because this weekend, the coming weekend, is a holiday in the US. Um, they're celebrating Mem Memorial Day. There's a lot of, stores and online sites that will have sales for Memorial Day and I've been getting alerts from many of my affiliates saying get ready to announce the sale so that's what I'm doing I'm just give, making you privy to that information right now and uh, as soon as I get any bonus codes or coupon codes or anything like that that you can benefit from I will put all that information uh, in a post on my blog at handmakes.blogspot.com. I'll try if I have the time to uh, put that in the description of this video also. And uh, note that if, it, if you do shop uh, on these affiliates, the affiliate sites, uh, thank you very much because they do uh, give me a small commission, but you are absolutely under no obligation to use those links. Uh, but if I can share uh, about sales, upcoming sales, I will like I will do that. So that's it for now. Uh, let me know what you think, and uh, thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, I would appreciate a like, comment, thumbs up. Uh, please share, and I will see you after the next video. Bye.